Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Onirjeet and I'm back with more facts and insights on automobiles. We have been looking at tech in automobiles and in the last two weeks we covered the ICE engine types and forced induction. Today, let's take a look at the other type of engine, the future as it's popularly called, the electric. Understanding an EV is much simpler. It's a battery powering a motor, which is again powering the wheels of the car or bike to move. Now what's complex is the different types of it. When we talk about a motor, we talk about a conventional DC motor, which consists of two essential parts, a stator, which is the stationary part, and a rotor, which is the moving part. And that moves the rest of the machine. The brushes in the stator function as the medium for the electric current to pass through to the armature further powering the rotor. This type of motor is easy to use giving easy speed control and it can handle variable load easily. The brushes although make it expensive to maintain and this brushed DC motor is the most widely used motor in any industry and has been used by the Indian Railways since ages now. Although more on that later. The first one is the BLDC. It stands for brushless DC motor. It is called brushless because it doesn't have the commutator and brush arrangement and instead has magnets which are used to electronically transfer the power. This makes BLDC motors cheaper to maintain and also BLDC gives it traction characteristics like high starting torque and high efficiency making it a great choice for EVs. Further down, there are two types of BLDC motors which differ in their arrangement and hence application as well. In this type, the stator is inside and the rotor is outside and is directly connected to the wheel, which makes it gearless, compact and an obvious choice. And this one goes to the two-wheeler segment powering electric bicycles, scooters and etc. The TVS iCube, Bajaj Chetak are popular examples of BLDC in two-wheeler motors. In this type, the rotor is enclosed inside and the stator is exposed. As a result, this requires external transmission and this makes it bulkier in comparison to the outrunner type. These motors are found in the three-wheeler segment of EVs of the likes of the Kinetic Green and others. The second kind of motors used in EV is the PMSM or the Permanent Magnet Synchronous Motor. This uses permanent magnets and are available for higher power ratings and a high low end torque. These motors are the best choice for heavier vehicles like cars and buses and are used widely for that purpose only. The popular EVs of the market like the Tata Nexon, Mahindra XUV 400, MG ZS EV, even the premium ones like the Hyundai Ioniq 5, BMW i3, Toyota Prius have all PMSM type electric motors in them. Interestingly, PMSM motors are also used in few electric two-wheelers as well, such as the Aether 450X, on number three is the three-phase AC induction motor. This is the successive technology and this cancels out the permanent magnets in the motor and it makes it significantly cheaper. This technology is now being implemented by major manufacturers with the front runners being Tesla with its Model S and Mahindra with their Riva E2O and the Treo. And the latest one being the BMW i7. Here we catch up with the news about the Indian Railways as they are on for the shift from DC motors to AC induction motors as they are cheap, easy to maintain and can withstand harsh conditions. Well, that's all about EV motors present in different vehicles we see now on road. I will be back again next week with some more interesting facts and insights on automobiles. Hit the like button and subscribe to the Overdrive YouTube page and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next week. Mm.